Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. So welcome to today's special pick a card reading, which is not really going to be focused on tarot cards, but um, on channeled messages. I'm going to be doing a channeled letter from your lost loved one. And I have just one tarot card that I actually shuffled for, and I will select, I'll keep it for the readings. But the rest of the messages, I'm really going to be channeling it from the images that I'm getting and from any other words. I might use some cards later on, but I'm really just going to see. Um, this reading is special. It's uh, dedicated to a lost loved one of mine whose birthday is today. And I also wanted to, it was also inspired by um, a recent reading that I received. And a special, special thank you to my two beautiful spirit sisters, Stephanie and Nof. I hope you guys are watching. And um, so we're going to, we're going to do channeled messages, a channeled letter uh, from the loved one who is either on earth or not, they may be on the spiritual realm already. So it really just depends. Um, so go with whatever option is calling to you the most. This is going to be a very different way of um, doing my readings. So if you are watching for the first time, this is not typically how I do things. So I'm just going to be taking a plain piece of paper here and one of my different writing tools that I will use based on what I feel. Um, there may be a lot of silence as I'm channeling the letter. It might be a little unusual, um, but it is a special pick a card. So um, if you guys are uncomfortable with silence or maybe you're relaxed by silence, I don't know. Um, it, it should It's just a different type of reading today. So here are the four groups. They are going to be listed in the description and in the comments. And just take a breath. And what I also recommend for you is to clear your mind of thinking of anyone really and just allow whatever messages are meant to come to you to come to you so do your best to just have a clear mind as you're making your selection okay so here we have group number one this is the uh well black and white or yin yang type of tree selenite this is group number one group number two is the red aura quartz Group number three is the th number three playing card. I think this is called the cosmic playing cards. That's group number three. And group number four is the rhodonite bracelet. This is group number four. Okay, and take as much time as you need. Again, clear your mind. Try not to think of anyone in particular. Although if that's what's happening, that's okay too. Just We'll just kind of see where this goes. And whenever you are ready, I will see what you're reading. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number one, which is the yin-yang tree selenite. 
The card that you guys got when I shuffled and pulled for you, you got the King of Wands. And this is also the card for action. It says on the bottom, this is the magical Nordic tarot. So looking at the King of Wands here, um, whether it's male or female, this is an energy of... Um, Honestly, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be very different for everyone. So you know what I'll do first is I will try to get some of the channeled messages, and then we'll see how for each of you it is relating to the King of Wands here. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just see if I can get an image of your person, whoever they might be, whether they're on Earth or in the spiritual realm. Spirit, can you please provide for us um, the present energy of the lost loved one for Group Number One, please? For Group Number One, who is this person that would like to provide? Or I think I should probably ask them directly. The the lost loved one um, of group number one, please. What is the first energy or the first message that you have for them for group one? I'm going to write these down and see if I can make some sense of them as I go along. Group number one, please. Okay, so I'm going to just pause for a second here because I've never done this on camera before or anything like this. So I'm going to share with you the first things that I got and it was pretty rapid. So that's why I just didn't stop. Well, actually, that's our first word. The first thing that I saw that I heard rather, um, it's going to be, I, I know my camera situation is not great, but it says stop. That was the first thing that I heard. Now I'll just read to you this short thing. And again, this is going to, because there's a lot of different people watching different situations, um, I'm going to have to kind of paraphrase some of this, but this is directly what I got. It says, stop. This may be from a different person, by the way, because it's like on the left and then the rest of the message is on the right. It says, I'm right here and I've been here this whole time. Have you forgotten me? I haven't forgotten you. It says, can we please, and it's two things, either spend some time, and the other one says, can we please speak? So that one depends on your situation. Because I have some things to say. And then there's a pause here. And then it says, I love you. So I'm going to read that again. I'm right here, and I've been here this whole time. Have you forgotten me? I haven't forgotten you. Can we please spend some time? Can we please speak? Because I have some things to say. I love you. So that was just the first part of it. So we're going to keep going with this. And like I said, it's going to be a very unusual type of reading. Um, so let me just go right back to it. Spirit, um, uh, what else do we have for group number one's lost loved one or the lost loved one of group one? What are your actual messages? What would you like to say? What are these things that you would like to say to group number one, please?
Okay, so we have another section here. There's a couple of um, varying messages, so I'll make clear what the differences are. It says, I have never forgotten your eyes. And then the other part of it is, I have never forgotten the look on your face. So for some of you, it's, I have never forgotten your eyes, meaning they actually loved the way that your eyes looked. The other half of you, it's, the they have never forgotten the look on your face. Now that one has a split message as well. The look on the face is either one of joy, and for some of you, it's one of hurt. It depends on the situation. Either way, the next line is, it pains me to remember. It pains me to remember. It says here, I remember you clearly. Where did you go? I wonder where you went. So those were two separate kind of things. When it says, where did you go? It makes me feel like you were the one that left this person for whatever reason. You turned your back on them for some reason. And then the, for the rest of you, it's, I wonder where you went. It just means that there was some kind of a separation, maybe unintentional or something like that. It says, I would like to see you slash I want to see you. So one of them is just a little bit more forceful or, you know, like there's a little bit more desire there. It says, every day I think of you. And then the next one has two different reasons for it. It says, please forgive me. So two reasons, either for hurt or for leaving. Um, I think I, I wrote it down um, a little differently, but it, it, what I meant by leaving was this person passed on um, for some of you. The others of you, it was because of hurt that the, the forgiveness thing matters. Let's get some more here. It's a little vague, so I think I want to ask some questions here, but it, the point of this channel letter is for them to speak, so let me first do that. Okay, so the lost loved one, would you like to continue your messages for group one, please? What else would you like to say to group number one? They, keep, they said it again. Where have you gone is what they said this time. So if you are, if you're in the half of the the group that it's a um, a passed on loved one this also could resonate if let's say you haven't you know thought of them prayed to them spoken to them spiritually the other part is uh, the other half of you guys if they're on earth um, is basically talking about like the, the the silence and they have all they also feel that your energy is is kind of gone like there, there may be a blockage up in regards to this Lost loved one of group one, what else would you like to say to them, please? They next said, I am here now, I am here now, and that's all that matters. That one, I feel like for some of you, that's almost like your voice, but I, but this is what they're saying either way. I am here now, I am here now, and that's all that matters. <sighs> okay. Let's get more here. Um, what else? Lost loved one. What else would you like to say to group one? Okay. Now, when I prodded them a little bit, they responded, they said, I have nothing to say at a certain point. I think too much. And what they mean by that is um, they've thought about this a lot. They've already 
run over this over and over and over again, and it's been the same thing without any changes. And then it says, I am tired. I want to put this to bed. I did get a specific image for that one. I saw the person kind of curled up on the ground with a cloak in front of them, or rather on them, reminding me of the Five of Cups. So they had like this uh, blanket of almost like regret or sorrow that was over them. Then they said, my pride, I know, was hurtful. I am sorry. So that's for those of you that um, were directly hurt by this person. But for the rest of you, if this person didn't directly hurt you, the pride part is a little bit more talking about um, kind of like they weren't paying attention. They were too in their own head. It was, it was more along those lines for, the, for those of you that, that that's the case. Okay. I think they have a lot more to say. I mean, um, I want to try to get more specific stuff. I just don't know what direction to take this in. Um, Spirit, can you please help to facilitate this letter? And what are the some of the other specific, clearer messages from the lost loved one of group number one, please? What would they like to say to group one at this time? Wow. <sighs> okay, so when Spirit helped us, it was a little easier. I, I, I've learned a lesson for the next three groups. Um, so here's, here's where they continued. It echoes in my head. It echoes in your head. I know you will find the answer. You just have to keep going. And do not doubt yourself or for others of you, it's your path. I speak to you all the time. You know I'm here. I guide you on your path and help you to get to the end. We'll do this together. And that's why I said, wow. Whew. And now I'm just like putting this together as I'm, my eyes are drifting back to the card. I completely forgot. It said action on the bottom. Isn't that something? That's really, <laughs> that's actually pretty amazing to me because I really forgot that. I really got into the messages here. So let's take a look a little bit at the actual King of Wands card. Um, you know, I, I pulled these and they, when I pulled them, they all did land face up. So it wasn't a surprise to me, but I just tried to forget about it. Um, not all of the groups, well, actually you're the only group that got a figure, meaning a person, a court card or like a human figure, but you also have an animal here. You have the rabbit Okay, so let's get some images for you. These were the with the words, the written messages. Um, I don't feel called to really use any other like worded cards, so I'm just going to get these images for you. Spirit, what else can you tell us about this King of Wands and their role in Group One's life or any other additional information, guidance, or messages for Group One, please, so that they can understand and be guided? What can you tell us about the King of Wands, please? I think that, so what I was seeing was the crown. I was seeing the crown suspended in air, not attached to anyone. No one was wearing it. Um, but I saw the crown spinning. This gives me the impression that you learned a lot from this person. Um, that you gained a lot of knowledge specifically from this person, almost as if they were a mentor. 
if not a mentor, then it, uh, I mean, obviously, if it's like a family member, then this was an older person that did teach you a lot or intended to teach you a lot. But they maybe for some of you, they didn't get the chance to do this. Spirit, what else can you tell us, please? Yeah, I think that with the crap with the crown spinning like that. Again, it gives me this impression that for a lot of you, this person wasn't paying attention. They should have been paying attention is what your your feeling probably is. Like it's almost like they're absent minded or they're just like scattered or um, focusing on something else. Maybe something having to do with their with their path, with their power, with their prosperity, maybe something like that. Or just distracted in general. Spirit, can you tell us more about the King of Wands, please? Okay, wait, let's say the King of Wands in relation to group one. So if the King of Wands is facing group one, what is their response? Okay, so they're watching you, and this time your back is turned. But that can mean a few different things. So in a symbolic sense, um, you're the one now that's focusing on your path and your prosperity and basically what they were doing, but you're doing it for yourself in a more positive way. Others of you, if there is something having to do with like, let's say something that was with anger or something that was harm harmful that happened, I feel like this is a little bit more of the cold shoulder type of looking away or facing away. <clears throat> kind of like the five of pentacles. For some of you, you might not know the image, but like it's the sort of being left in the cold card. Okay, spirit, what else can we see for um, king of wands? towards group one please what else so the king of wands is looking at you and even though they can't see everything that you're doing because symbolically you're turned away they can still they still know of what you are doing and their face is like filled with awe and um like uh pride like but in this case they're proud of you that's what i'm seeing they're proud of you and they are really impressed with how far you've come they are proud of you like basically this really immediately to me looked like fatherly energy obviously that's not for everyone but it is kind of like that energy of that like i guess um paternal or maternal uh sort of pride in one's child or you know like just what i mean is like you know it's not literal some, for some of you but it's just like that type of relationship where they are proud of their um of the younger person let's see anything else um so I kind of want to see what you guys would see if you looked at them. So I feel like for most of you, you are aware that this person, um, you are aware that this person is present, whether they're on earth or in the spiritual realm. You're, you're aware that they are here and they are looking at you, watching you way more tentatively, or sorry, way more attentively than they did previously. So you you see this now so this makes me feel like this person um definitely an aura of regret uh, in some way but they want to correct this they want to correct this now they want to fix this they want to be present and that leads me to my final line here we'll do this together that oof wow chills right um Whatever it is that you're taking action towards, and this being the wands suit, it really and the, the stars. Um, this is definitely something having to do with your passion, your dreams, your ambitions for the future, and for just in general, in general, your path. This card has a lot of prosperity behind it. There's so much abundance. It looks like blooming leaves, and there's also blooming leaves on the actual uh, wand that that they're holding. And the final image that I got for you guys in group one, I'm seeing that this king of wands is taking off their crown and giving it to you. That means a lot of different things. That means love, that means generosity, that means passing the torch, um, allowing you to create your legacy, passing on knowledge, a gift. I mean, it means so many different things, but that's what I saw. Oh, okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The um, lost or the loved one of group one for these messages. Thank you, spirit. So group one, that's what I have for you. Um, I hope that this resonated. It was very new and interesting for me to do the reading this way. Again, I don't normally do readings like this at all. So if you're new to the channel, check out my other stuff and how I typically do things. Um, let me let me know in the comments, whatever is going on with you guys. Um, 
I mean, I have no idea if this is going to resonate for you guys. I really have no clue since I've never done it this way, but um, let me know. And, um, you know, if anything, next time will be a tarot reading. <laughs> like, okay, so thank you guys so much. Um, sending you love and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two, which is the Red Aura Quartz. Okay, so um, being that this is the first time I'm doing something like this, it should be interesting. And I really hope that it does resonate uh, just because I've never done it this way before. So let's get started. Your tarot card here that you got was the Ace of Swords. And the word at the bottom is Clarity. Um, so let me see how I do it for you guys, because everyone is going to be different. So I have here the blue marker instead of my pencil. So let's see. Um, that's interesting that I chose, I happen to choose the blue marker, because it's the most visible, and blue is the color of communication, and the swords element in general, communication, the throat chakra. So I feel like whoever this is, we're about to tap into their energy and their messages. And I, But I feel like whoever this is really has something strong that they want to express to you that has been building up and it may clarify <clears throat> like the the relevance of it is that they want to clarify something they want to communicate something clear the air or bring some kind of uh, truth in general to the equation so i'm not sure exactly where to start but um i did two things for group one i got it directly from the loved one and then I asked Spirit to help us. So let's see where I go with this. Um, I'm going to ask first your loved one. And then we'll get into the card a little bit later. Okay. So um, the, the lost loved one or the loved one of group number two, please. Whoever you might be. Anyone with the most significant message today. What would you like to tell group two, please? The Red Aura Quartz group. Lost loved one of group two, what would you like to tell them today, please? Okay, so we're going to pause for a second here. Um, at first, almost nothing was coming out. I got one word, then I got two words, then I got four words, and then they just kind of opened up slightly, like we cracked open the, the can or something, and then they just felt a little bit better. So here's what we have. We started off, I mean, I'm not even going to show it to you because you, you won't be able to see it much, but the very, very first word that we got was just one it says one, and it's not even a complete thought. I thought maybe they were trying to say the one or on 
like one day or only one like they were trying to say something like that and then another incomplete sentence it said i am so maybe they were trying to say one i am like i am the one like they were really trying to they were struggling there and that is confirmed with what they said next and here's what it says it's hard for me everything is muffled it's always been hard for me it was unintentional Please do not misunderstand it for being cold. It wasn't. I wasn't. You are in my heart. I could just never show it. Wow. Okay. Um, the part over here, everything is muffled. That one, I got a direct image of their blocked throat chakra. When I see muffled, I kind of get this image of cotton, like just something cottony that is clogging, smothering, or yes, muffling, something that should otherwise be clear. So again, we're coming back to the card that we drew for you guys, the Ace of Swords, clarity at the bottom. So the Ace of Swords is no joke. This is like the clearest card, I feel, of the entire deck. Um, and this sword here looks quite heavy. I feel like this person has been holding the burden of speech and of clarity for a long time i'm very much drawn to all of these uh like deep purples and pinks and indigos uh, i feel like whatever they were trying to say was of a more like of a psychic nature and i'm seeing here that there's a it looks like a compass in the middle here it kind of looks like a watch or a compass and what i'm seeing on the on the image is that it's going haywire it doesn't it's not stopping there's a lot going on here the themes of time direction and wheel of fortune image destiny life path alignment it's all going crazy there's so much going on here so depending on if your person is on earth or in the spiritual realm this is going to resonate quite differently so it's either talking about your direction and your path forward or how everything kind of came came to that point before they they left but yeah this is this is heavy but it is also very powerful and very ancient so whatever they're trying to communicate with you they're getting it from a higher power source so if they were unable to speak to you and, and whatever point that they're referring to if they if they were not able to deliver the message that was because they were operating from their lower self but this is a high powered message and that makes sense because it's kind of like if you're in a lower frequency it's really going to be difficult or not if not impossible to get higher level frequency messages um let's see what else okay <clears throat> All right, loved one of group two, what else would you like to say to them today, please? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I just, I'm reacting here. It's just very powerful. Wow, I can, wow, I'm so sorry. I'm keep, I just can't contain it. This is really beautiful. There was so much heart right here at the end. I am amazed at what happened here from 
how we started and then what it's turning into group number two um to from from getting literally one word to i couldn't even make this legible because they just the, the messages are just becoming fluid and poetic and easy it's easy flowing so this is representing a long span of time where this is how they were in the beginning of you knowing them and this is how they either are now or just like how time has shifted things so the next messages that you got okay they, these are two different things but it, you know depending on what makes sense to you but it says so your person is saying i just want everything to calm down slash I just want everything to go back to the way it was, whichever one. I want, and then in parentheses, clarity. So what they didn't say direct words, but they, they essentially said that they want clarity. They could have said something like, I want things to clear up. I want um, us to clear up, something kind of like that. And now it says, let's walk together. And there we will think and see everything as it was meant to be seen. You make it easier you make the tears come. You make me feel. You make my soul come alive. And I was just holding, I was just like, that is an incredible message. Like, I really felt an overwhelming emotion. It, it was a lot of different emotions all bottled up. And then it just came pouring out. And that's why I had to react to that. I feel like they have more to say. Um, I will ask them again, and then I will ask Spirit. Okay, so is there anything else, loved one, of group number two that you would like to speak to them at this time? Loved one of group two, please. Okay, it says, it con so it continues here. You taught me so much and I will never forget that. And I appreciate you so much. I wish I told you that slash I wish you knew that. There's nowhere to go but forward. I'm done making mistakes. I want to do better. You make me better. I don't want this burden anymore. I need help. Spirit, can we please clarify some of the stuff on the left um, in regards to, um, can we please clarify some of these messages from the lost loved one of group number two, please? What can you tell us about these messages? What would they, what do they want to say? Now I want to see, the only thing that Spirit said was a similar thing. It says I, which in parentheses, it could either mean I or you. So it, it's interchangeable there. It says I or you can't do it alone and that's okay. So basically it seems like there's going to be some kind of collaborative effort, whether it's 
spiritual or physical, right? So let's get a little bit of spirit. Can we please have an um, have an image for group two's person and any image at all, uh, especially group two's person and how they are looking towards group two? How what what do they see when they look towards them, please? For group two's person, what do they see when they look towards them? I immediately saw psychic communication through through dreams. That's what I saw. And I feel like in the dreams, this person is probably very much alive. Um, or vibrant is what I actually meant to say. But that came out. Um, I saw an image of you sleeping. And um, at first it looked like they were, you know, watching you in your sleep. But I was realizing that they were... That you were dreaming is what I is what I realized. Spirit, what else can you tell us about what group two's person sees when they face uh, group two, please? What do they see? Everything is bright. Everything is clean and clear. And it reminds me of what they said. Everything was, uh, sorry, everything in this image of you two in the dream. Everything is as it was before, before anything got tainted or ruined or blemished or darkened so everything is like so bright and innocent and it looks like you're in this abundant place like there's so much life in this place it's um the place itself is very vibrant uh i feel like it, you're you're wearing white um and that's a symbol of purity and innocence too, um, like cleansing. They're struggling to keep up with you. Um, you're running away in a sense, but playfully. You're, it's a game. It's almost like a game. And you're you're kind of like running away. And um, they're playfully running after you as well. But they, they're having trouble keeping up with you. They're having trouble catching up to you. They're not wearing white though. So this person is still of a lower frequency than you are is what I'm getting from that. But there's so much laughter and childhood play energy. And you're in this place that is so safe. There's trees out in the distance, but it's like this huge meadow and this clear verdant pastures. And um, I did get the image of like some horses in the background or something like that, um, maybe symbolizing movement or if some of you that could be literal. But... <sighs> You know, together, together, very different from group number one. You guys, I know that you're walking a path together, but realistically, you're not going anywhere. And, and that's okay because you're playing, you know, you're like children playing out in a field. You don't have to, there's no pressure. There's no burdens of the adult world. You're just, you're, you're just playing. Um, and that's the direction that's where you and possibly your person, well, possibly you and your person, that's exactly where you wanted to go. Your whole goal was peace and, and joy and to exist for the sake of existing without all of this extraness that is the adult world and our societal pressures. So I feel like they're reminding you of this. They're reminding you of what is really important and... Um, if you're translating that into your adult life, you know, to have joy, to have passion, to have play and to um, to connect to the spiritual realm on these higher level frequencies, because that's our truth. Going back to the sword of truth here with the clarity, the ace of swords. OK, I see this person. The final image that I'm getting is I see this person now being able to pick up this sword easily. They've gained strength. And they've gained the frequency. They've almost like they've gained the right to pick up the sword. Nothing is muffled anymore. Everything is clear. And the clouds are parting. <laughs> and the sky is blue. <laughs> um, wow. This is just a freaking beautiful reading. And I'm like overwhelmed right now. This was incredible. Ooh. Okay. So group number two. That's what I have for you. And I sincerely hope that this resonated or helped in some way. 
I have no idea if it will resonate just because I, I never do readings like this ever, but it, the, this was new. It was a challenge. It was interesting for me. So if anything, leave me some feedback in the comments if you feel called to. Um, thank you once again. Sending you love and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose the playing card, group number three. And for you guys, you have the six of pentacles, gifts. Very interesting. Traditionally, the six of pentacles, um, I mean, it shows the scales of balance and then like a person giving something to one person. So um, it kind of just thinks it looks like balance and fairness there a little bit to me. So let's leave the card there for a moment and um, I'm going to first start off with getting the messages directly from your loved one and then I'm going to ask Spirit for some assistance after that. So I did have some trouble choosing the writing utensil so um, I think it's because I, I was hoping for a black pen but I don't have that handy so I'm going to use this blue pen instead of the pencil. Okay, so um, the loved one the loved one of group number three. What are your messages for them today? Lo the loved one of group number three, please. What, what would you like to say to them today? Okay, 
So group three, your person and their messages came out the most fluidly and easily of the other two groups so far. The first word or vibe, it said calm or in parentheses calmness. So the message so far, it says, I am at peace and I hope you are too. Some of them said it has been quite a journey and others worded it kind of like it has been such a long journey. And it says, I am not in parentheses upset or like meaning they don't have any negative feelings towards this um, or by this. They said, I know this is how it had to end or others said, I know this is how it had to be. You will see one day, you'll understand in parentheses just you'll understand just what I mean or what I mean. <clears throat> it says, it's okay. Trust me, it will be okay. You have to have more faith because even though it doesn't seem like it, you are not alone. And they playfully said, don't be silly or, you know, don't think like that. You were never alone. Okay. Let's get a little bit more here. The loved one of group number... Three, what is your message, let's say, about anything that will provide them more... You know what, I can't do that. I, I, I ask Spirit those questions. Um, the loved one of group number three, what else would you like to say to them today? What would you like... What are your messages for them, please? What would you like to say to them? Okay. It says, I want to be fair to you. And they were giving me the impression that you didn't receive something you were meant to receive or that something was unfair, which is what I was talking about over here with the Six of Pentacles. So they, they said, I want to be fair to you. Or what they kind of mean is that they want, um, like if it's, it depends on what's relevant, but like, it's kind of like they're saying they want life to be fair to you and to give you something is kind of what they mean by that. Okay. Um, loved one of group number three, what else would you like to say? Anything more that will help us to have some more clarity here? Loved one of group three, please, what are your messages for them? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. They, um, this was kind of interesting to me. They just smiled real relaxed, like a big, calm and peaceful smile. They put their hands behind their head and they just laid back uh, in this nice, peaceful place. It kind of looked like, um, almost like a paradise. Like it looked like an oasis, a paradise, or just somewhere very, very, very peaceful. And that's all they had to say. I mean, that that was it. Um, so I'm going to ask Spirit, because even though this came out fluidly, they had very little to say, which was interesting. The other groups, it wasn't like that. So let's ask Spirit for some assistance here. Um, Spirit, can you please give us some... Um, some messages, guidance here for group number three. What was, what does their lost loved one wish to say to them at this time? The lost loved one of group number three. What do they want to say to group three, please? Okay, that's why. That's why. Oh my goodness, that makes sense. Jeez. Okay. Now, this is the reason why that they stopped talking and they even smile. I swear, your person has a sense of humor. Um, they even they even smiled real big in a way that was almost smug, like playfully smug when they um, just stopped, when they stopped talking. So now here is why I feel they did this. 
Um, the next thing that they said, I'm giving you the answers. Please stop asking why, or meaning you don't have to ask. You know, I can't keep saying the same thing. It's okay. Believe me, everything will be okay. Pause. You need to be more patient. So when they said, I'm giving you the answers, I directly heard the information from my right ear. So the right side of you is um, like you may be receiving some kind of spiritual psychic message from the right side. Um, anything re related to the right side. Some of you, it's like your actual ear, something on the right side of your room, um, the right side of your body. Or if you're right-handed, like written messages could be relevant to or drawing or something like that. Now they're saying, please stop asking or like stop asking why and saying you don't have to ask. So there, there was two different vibes there because um, for some of you, you are directly asking questions and questions and questions. And then um, for the others, you're not necessarily asking it too much, but it's kind of like just saying like you don't even need to ask because you already know. You already have the knowledge or the alternative is that they've already given you the answer, like many times. Um, and that's why they, they underlined it. You know, like you have this already. Gifts. This person already gave you um, exactly what they needed to give you, I feel. That one's going to resonate differently, but I feel like you have... Okay, so maybe not that they gave it to you already, but meaning you... Whatever you have currently, you have exactly the tools, the knowledge, or the resources that you need in order to like for the next step <clears throat> or something like that and then they said I can't keep saying the same thing like with an exclamation point like kind of like they're fed up now finally um which makes me feel like you guys on your end maybe you are like not quite wanting to truly purely hear them maybe you have the you know maybe you're impatient maybe you um are you know stubborn sometimes or like whatever but they're it's they're saying it kind of like with with a little bit of oomph and power to it like yeah I can't keep saying the same thing and then here it's okay believe me everything will be okay and they said that before it they said exactly that almost it says it's okay trust me it will be okay and then on the bottom of the first part they said you have to have more faith and then here they said you need to be more patient so they're really trying to not like scold you, but they're trying to be firm with you because um, it's it's been the same thing. And then the, and so like if we're trying to talk to them, they're just smirking at me. And I really thought that that was funny. The the look on their face, they just were smirking, and they're like they're just enjoying their little. <laughs> They're enjoying their little whatever, like they didn't have a hammock, but they were just sitting there and it was very peaceful. So this makes me also think that, I don't know, like, depending on if your person is, um, it doesn't really matter if they're on earth or in the spiritual realm because they are enjoying this peacefulness, which is probably a higher frequency connected to, more connected to the, the divine or higher level beings. And because of that, that's why they're peaceful. That And they just want you to be there with them. They want you to... It, like the fairness they want you to have that and they're saying that you can but you have to kind of like open yourself up more w to the idea or like co uh, cooperate more something like that whoa that's really interesting very interesting um so let's do a final thing here we had like this separation here kind of so i'll just mark that so let's get a final thing here spirit can you tell us one more thing um if you can show us one more image of what for group number three's lost loved one what does the love the loved one of group three what do they see when they look towards group three what what is the image that they what do they see when they look at group three please okay so i see you both sitting in front of each other very different from the other groups. It's, this is such an interesting thing to do. Um, so you're sitting cross-legged in front of each other. And you're both looking down at something in the middle. And it kind of looked like two things. It looked like... I mean, at first it kind of looked like you were playing some kind of a children's game. Which um, it looked like either... You know, like when you have the rubber ball and the jacks? It kind of looked like that at first. And then it... Some of you were, weren't doing that. You were like just... Um, kind of scribbling something that reminded me of tic-tac-toe or something like that. Um, others of you, it was kind of like something either of a game or a riddle or something that you both were trying to figure out. So like um, 
yeah, kind of like problem solving or something like that. Or just passing time or problem solving or using the analytical part of your mind. That's what that represents, I feel. Okay, so that, that's what was going on. So this person, the way that they view you, in contrast to the other ones, like this is really, um, they are right there with you. They're mirroring you. They're with you. It's almost like they are an equal part of your team, which again reminds me of the, the scales of balance on the Six of Pentacles. So they are doing all of this with you and they are closely guiding you. They are, uh, and from what, I, from what I got, see, I'm giving you, oh my goodness, like, that's so funny. I'm giving you the answers. So it's like if you were playing a game or something like that, they're making it so that you can have success. Like not that they're letting you win, but they're they're not keeping this a secret. Like they're, they're giving you exactly what you need. And again, that's gifts. Okay. All right. This even kind of looks like a game, like weirdly enough to me, it kind of looks like some kind of a game that you have to figure out. Like it looks playful to me. Um, it looks like, uh, I mean, it actually looks a little bit like snowflakes which is kind of random. Let me not even get into that. Um, cause I don't, it's like, um, I don't know if that resonates with any of you, but that's kind of what it looked like for a second there. Um, spirit, do you have any final images for us for group number three in regards to their, um, their loved one? I see the both of you looking directly at each other and smiling like a big grin. Like, and this is, this is good because this means, um, like a big grin and like direct eye contact is kind of an indicative of like uh, being completely exposed or um, not hiding anything and like direct and that word I really can't stand to say but vulnerable um, and just like showing everything, showing all your cards in a sense, um, which see I'm giving you the answers. It's like there's no mystery and there's no need for that. There's no veil. It's just this direct collaboration and friendship and accompaniment and support wow this is really interesting i i for, for you guys in group three i have no clue who this could have represented for you because i got not i have like i mean wow <laughs> like you have to so group three i i because i don't usually do my readings like this i really don't know if this is going to resonate this was me taking a bit of a challenge and a risk. Who knows what's going to come up for this, but definitely let me know if it did. Um, if it did or didn't, I hope that this was helpful for you in some way or interesting at least. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe if it didn't resonate, it might not be the right group, but, you know, we'll see. Thank you guys so much. I wish you the very best and I'm sending you love and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is the Rhodonite bracelet. So you guys got the Ace of Pentacles and their word on the bottom is luck. This is from the Magical Nordic. Interesting, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is going to mean a, a couple different things. So we're going to leave this here and that's kind of what I've been doing and then we'll come back to it. 
Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to channel some of the messages from your loved one directly, and then we're going to ask for spirit's assistance and get some more images for you. Okay, so the... And I was called to use the pink, the, the pink slash reddish marker for you guys. Everyone kind of had a different thing. Yeah. All right. So the loved one of group number four, please. Our rhodonite crystal or bracelet group. The loved one of group number four. What are your messages today for them? What would you like to say to group number four, group four's person, their loved one? Your loved one did not give me words first, which is unusual and unique to you guys. I feel like you're going to know what this is. They gave me that. It can mean different things, yes, but realistically, I feel like these are teardrops. So they gave me that first. They actually gave me the image and the sound. So it either means teardrops because of the obvious sadness. It means teardrops because of perhaps emotional release. It could also be raindrops, which is symbolic of maybe cleansing or something having to do with the water element. So let's see what, let's see anything else. Okay. Okay, so group, uh, the loved one of group number four, what would you like to say to them today, please? Okay, you know what? Um, they do seem to be in a bit of a fog, okay? So if that's the case, what I'll do is I'll first ask Spirit for help, and then maybe they'll open up a little bit, okay? Everything was, you know, everyone's group was kind of different. It's interesting. Um, Spirit, if you can give us some assistance here. Um, for group number four, the lost loved one of group number four, what would they like to say to group four at this time, Spirit? What are the messages from their person of the, the lost loved one? Okay. Wow. This is something. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So group four. It says your person, your loved one. <clears throat> it says things are calming down, becoming stable and clear. I'm grateful. Finally. Thank God. You said so much to me that I never understood before, but I do now. I do now. I'm not running anymore. I'm sitting right here, seeing where the wind, and in parentheses, spirits, spirit guides, take me. I know more time or more growth needs to pass, but at least I can finally breathe. Wow. Right. Um, ooh. Okay. Let's recollect ourselves. Um, okay. So let's see what else that spirit can help us with. Um, because at first they were saying nothing. 
absolutely nothing. Um, I would like to share that when I got these initial images, uh, uh, messages, it says things are calming down, becoming stable and clear. I got, weirdly, an image that looked just like the crystal for group number two. So there may be some hidden messages for you guys in group number two. And here is the crystal right here. It, um, so what I saw specifically, now this is fascinating to me. Um, so here, oh my God, like this image is really epic. Like, <laughs> So your person, oh, this is wonderful. So your person is sitting in some kind of a dark looking, almost like an abyss, like this dark scene. It almost looks like there's destruction all around. There were trees, but it kind of looks like they got singed and burned away. And the, the sky is very dark almost reddish and orangey kind of, right? And it reminds me of this card, which I think at this point I'm going to have to show it to you because it was just an incredible image. Um, it reminds me of this card from, this is called the, um, whatchamacallit, the Wisdom. It reminds me of the card called Regeneration. And it features a tree. If I could ever find it, that would be great. Nope, I didn't find it. I'm like doubting if its existence in this time. <laughs> it reminded me of the barren land um, where... Here it is, geez. Um, so here it goes. If you see that a little more closely. You see how the, there's like this singeing thing. Here it's like this lava, right? I don't even know what's going on in this card, but look at the hope and the light, right? It's coming here. There's starlight and regeneration, it's kind of obvious now what your person is going through. They're going through their regeneration. And wherever they were, it was still like this barren type of land. There was not a lot of life, but if they are regenerating, they are creating new life. This is really, it is really amazing. Um, so they were sitting there. And it was, it was still raining, but not, like, there was water coming down onto them, but it wasn't exactly raining, but there was still, like, this localized kind of water coming down onto them. So maybe they are cleansing. And what I saw, the image when I saw everything, oh, it says things are coming down, becoming stable and clear. I saw them sitting on some kind of a bench that was, like, very, like, isolated. There's no one else in sight. They were the only ones in this place. And they're sitting on this like just random stone bench like that shape kind of like just like a simple thing like shaped like a staple um so they're sitting there and they're almost like protected by the the cleansing or by uh protected by i didn't mean protected by the cleansing i meant protected by the rain or whatever and this was resting on top of their head or like this was hovering rather above their heads and and this was there so when it said stable i thought of the flat surface and clear, I thought of the translucence of the crystal. So, so again, like, I don't know if group two will also resonate with you guys. It's like a hidden thing there. Um, and the look on their face, it says things are calming down. And what they really mean by that is that they are calming down within their soul. Or rather, their, like, their mind. Like, they've been going through some treacherous things. If If that's what it looks like in their background. I mean, it's like total you know what it looks like you know what it probably is is the destruction that happens after the tower poof, you know so they probably recently went through a tower moment um where everything of the old self and the ego self was completely destroyed but this is a good thing because what it was before was false so that's why this had to happen but this is really incredible. And then here it says, um, I know more time needs to pass. I know more growth needs to to occur, to pass. But, but the last line, but at least I can finally breathe. That's really something there. Um, so with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like the word luck, I, I don't know if that's literal here. I feel like it's more of like um, fortune, you know, fortune is shining down upon them. And um, maybe they feel lucky. Maybe they feel like in a sense... Um, they receive some kind of uh, a miracle from the divine. And over here it says, um, finally, uh, it says, I'm grateful, finally, thank God. So I feel like they they view it in that way. Like they, 
wow. Th I mean, <clears throat> I want to get more messages for you about the letter. Um, Spirit, can you give us anything more? Or uh, loved one of group number four, please, would you like to say anything else to them, anything at all today, to group four? Okay, so they gave me another image. I have, I'm getting this feeling that your person is very poetic, like super metaphorical and creative in that way. So that's, that might be why they're doing this. Um, but the word was kind of like the word promise. Um, I don't think that for some of you, this is going to be a literal thing. But the image was that they were implying that you made a promise to them, maybe something about waiting for them. That's kind of what I felt. Or so either of you, some one of you made some kind of a promise. Now, this person is sitting in front of you, but in a friend kind of a way, not in a way of like the traditional sense, but they are, they were in the image, slipping some kind of a ring on your finger. Um, again, it, it sounds like a marriage proposal, but symbolically, that's that's really not what it is um, in a literal sense. Like it is a symbolic thing. So what they're what they're saying here, what they're hinting at here is the promise itself. OK, so I feel that you both had some kind of a promise in your past. I don't know exactly what it was because everyone is going to be a different thing, but it's making me feel like they're that's their present energy. They're thinking about it or it is in the future where they're going to come back and they're going to. You know, like the, the symbolism of the ring, like, and the funny thing is that they're the ones that's putting the ring on you. So they are coming back to fulfill their promise. Oh my goodness. Like this is really, really intense. Um, so I'm just trying to, like my brain is scrambled, but I'm trying to um, come back to the obvious practical translations of this. So whether your person is in the spiritual realm or on earth, this will still apply. They're going to come back in some way to fulfill whatever it was that needed to be fulfilled. Oh boy. Okay, so um, we're going to get just a few more written messages and then I'm going to look at um, what spirits uh, images are. Okay. Spirit um, or loved one of group number four, would you like to say anything else? Any final words? Any other message for group four, please? for group four. There were no words anymore, and I feel like this is very fitting because of the image that I saw. After they placed the ring, after they came back and gave the ring, um, the vibe of this person, uh, they, they are calmer, they are awakened, kind of like stable mentally, like they can think clearly that they're seeing clearly that they're real versus before they might have been inauthentic or false or um, others of you, it, it could have resonated that like um, instead of false, maybe it was just hard to hear what they were saying or read what they were saying or something like that. Um, and then and then after that, the image that I got was um, the both of you, like you were you were sitting down, you're both sitting down next to each other and you're already kind of like in a seated rested position Um and, and and they sit, they're sitting next to you too, but then they, they finally lean back and relax against that same like either wall or like whatever was behind the both of you. Like they're sitting back next to you and you both look very kind of relaxed and at peace, parallel, kind of like on the same page or like, you know, equals in a sense. And the both of you are just kind of looking out into the distance. Um, and that distance I'm assuming has like a lot of some kind of light. Um, like the direction, the light, like just something. But for that moment, like, yes, there's a lot to do. Yes, there's a lot to move forward with. But for that moment, the both of you just sat back, relaxed for a second and existed with each other. And the next image I was going to ask was about that anyway. I, I was going to ask, what do they see when they see you? They just, there you are. Like you're at their side. Oh, that's something. Oh boy you are at their side and you know what that could be what the promise was oh my goodness you guys never left <sighs> you really never left like energetically this whole time you've just you've kept your promise that's all i have to say you know obviously there was something that they didn't keep a promise of maybe but i feel like you kept your promise 
Spirit, do we have any final messages, please, for um, group number four? Anything else? Any images? Anything that... Um, final messages for group four, please. There was no other messages. The only thing was that your person looked at you and smiled. Like a genuine crack of a smile that it made me think that this person hasn't smiled in ages. They wanted to curse, by the way. They wanted to say the F word, like to say in effing ages. Like, so they're very exhausted. Okay. Wow. 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 Group number four. Um, what a very special and intense reading. Um, now I said to the other groups, I have no idea if this will resonate for you, because as you can plainly see, I did not use tarot cards. I just had the one. So this was a little bit of a risk and a gamble and a challenge for me, but I'm hoping that it resonated. And um, maybe if it didn't, it wasn't the right group for you. That, that could also be a possibility, but I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. If it's your first time here, check out my other readings because I, I do it through tarot cards for sure. Um, Thank you once again, sending you love, sending you light, and I hope to see you next time, okay? Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.